Bismillah Rahman Rahim. We'll start with the remaining slides. Okay, benefits of WBS. So, it helps prevent work from slipping through the cracks. What is the slipping through the cracks? So, it is like something which goes unnoticed. Something goes unnoticed. So, we are or neglected. It, you can identify that. So, it is only slipping through the cracks and helping the team to choose where the piece fits to overall project plan and the new team members to see the role. So it, it, it has a, a team effect, it has a team effect to identify where the project is going and how it uh, fits with the overall plan, how it fits with the plan, yes. Then also it facilitates communication with, facilitates communication with stakeholders. Okay, stakeholders are the owners. Communication means uh, like you have to, uh, it's a line of command, it's a line of command. Okay, and help prevent changes. So it also, like if there is any change, it helps to prevent them well in advance. Then it focuses on team experience. So what is team experience? Team experience and what need to be done. So if there is any shortage or any problem, any shortage, it can be removed it can be removed shortage can be removed any drawbacks any barriers any barriers can be removed it results in higher quality and easier project yeah then provides basis for estimating and proof of need so it provides base for estimating means uh, like uh, how what how how what what is what is it how is it so estimating how it will how it will be done what will be the outcome so all this estimation uh, can be done with the proof of need. Yeah. It gives team buy in and build a team. It gives team buy in and build a team. Yeah. Then helps your mind around the project. So it just doesn't like deviate to deviate to deviate. No deviation. No deviation. So concentration. Concentration develops concentration. So different methods in WBS. Yes. First, it talks about uh, product oriented. What is this product oriented? Product oriented actually for this uh, work breakdown structure, it provides hierarchy. It provides hierarchy. Like uh, breakdown the structure that de that uh, decompose the project scope with discrete and with discrete and manageable work. Like actually, it is. Um, it, it talks about the scope. It talks about the scope, and this is divided into smaller and more manageable deliverables. More manageable deliverables. Yes. So, it's a project-oriented. I mean, sorry, product-oriented hierarchy. So, components of the product like BOM. That is bill of materials. Bill of materials. Yes. Then function oriented. Function oriented is function of the product, that is mechanical, electrical, etc. So it relies upon identifying the functions. It relies upon identifying the functions. It relies upon identifying the functions like uh, input to output and how they perform the significant task. How they perform a significant task related to mechanical, electrical, significant task. Yes. Then task oriented. Task oriented is. Um, it is actually the leadership. It is talks as a leadership and it's a behavioral approach. It is a behavioral approach. It's a behavioral approach in which the, the leader focuses the task, in which the leader, leader focuses the task, yes. In order to meet the goals. Okay. Then it's like task and completing the project. It talks about a design transportation, training, all these are the main factors in design orientation. Then I mean, finally we have a resource orientation. Resource orientation is a resource in completing the project, like departments and people. Like it talks about the, how we can uh, manage the people, equipment, people, uh, equipment, then uh, funding, then other like anything like labor, labor, required labor for completion of required labor, completion of project. So all these are taken into consideration resource oriented, yes. 
So here's an example for the work breakdown structure. It shows a bike when you take a bike. So what are the components needed when you select a bike? Requirements is very important. Design of the bike, latest design, and uh, build up or how it's built up and test. So these are the main things you have taken into consideration. Like for example, you need to be more clear. I can show in the next slide. See, it says that uh, what are the requirements? Requirements like manufacturing specifications, then user specifications, frame design, wheel design, frame, and wheel building, then aerodynamic and user test. So what is this manufacturing specification? It contains all the information that is needed to make the product. So all the information is available. All the information, all the information is available. And make the describes about the stages also, describes about the stages. Like you have a material. Then talks about the using how you manage it like flow charts flow charts, then diagrams, then exactly how to make the samples to that. Then user user requirements talks about the business needs for the users from the system. Like user specifications are return early. They are actually they are return early. They are like guidelines. They are return early. They are return early. They are return early. They use as a guidelines. Um, like for example, uh, so return early, like uh, before, and this step return actually is written by the owners, owners uh, by the end users. It acts as a guide, it acts as a handbook or guide, something like that. Then you know design and frame design, the so bike's frame design, how it should be the frame. Okay, then the bike, you can catch handlebar design, then wheel design, how you design the wheels, what material should be used to make it more fast and more speed. Then frame, what type of material to be used in the frame and wheel, how the wheel, this, uh, we should be made up of what material, all materials, okay. And good quality of tire. Then aerodynamic style, this is style testing. User should be how mileage, all this should be done. So this is actually the specification details given like 1, 1.1. 1 .1. 1.22, 2.1, 2.2, 3.3.1, 3.24, 4.1. How it can be done? Should we have make a unique identifier, giving a number to them to identify numbers given. Then also like it should be broken down into a small deliverables until earlier. It is a simple work activity, or it can be a no longer decomposed. Like how it can be done? Like for example, you take this uh, details like what's the tube size? When you take the frame tube size. And logo, what is the brand name? Logo means brand, tube shape, then color, aesthetic, aesthetic requirement, color choice, then etc. Now we will find because some might have blue color, or some might have new, like for example, black, black color. So these are the needs of customer requirements.